word is this. And they'll stick it to you, you know? Like, 
I think probably in real life, we, Jensen and Jared have said some serious things to each other, uh, but it's for a good reason. <laughs> I think, you know, your friend isn't the person that tells you you're perfect all the time. Your friend is the one who goes, like, hey, like, you're better than this, you know, when you're, when you're being different. When you're not being, when you're not living up to who you can be. Uh, you know, your friends tell you the hard things. Uh, I don't love So I think Sam and me can get to realize that they're all going to just insult you now. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the uh, yeah, so that's why I'm here. I was born with season two, but beyond that. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's been, there's certainly been some things that, uh, you know, Dean has gone <clears throat> behind Sam's back and done a lot of things. Um, he's always, he's always done them with what, what he is, what he is hoping is, is, is good intention. Uh, Mark McCain. Um, the things like that where he may be setting himself up for sacrifice um, and doesn't tell him about it. Uh, I will say that there's, there, that's happened uh, a lot in this series. Uh, and it will be something that uh, will continue that. Um, yeah. And I think that's, if, if I can point out one thing, it's just the, you know, Dean not being up front with his intentions, whether good or bad, with his brother all the time. And probably thinking that it's, it's helping the situation by not letting him know so that he can't maybe talk about it, the decision that he's already made. Those are those are tough pills to swallow, I would think, from a from a real perspective. Uh, so yeah, I mean, take your pick. There's many of I hope uh, the long wait to ask your question was worth it. It was. Thank you so much. Good see you. Where's Amy? Hi, Hi, you got a lot of hands pointing at you. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Well, congratulations. Yeah, yeah congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And I want to kind of preface it by saying there are episodes that I love of Supernatural, like Sacrifice, uh, the season 8 finale, and season 5 finale, Swan Song, yeah. Um, but there are two big little fever that makes me crack up every time. There are two episodes of Supernatural that I, I really. I'm saying this as, as objectively as I can. I don't think we'll have any done on any other show. Uh, <laughs> one, was, one was the French mistake. <laughs> I mean, who else can get away with that? And another, um, and it, it, it's purely because of such a shout out and thank you, thanks to you guys. Uh, I don't remember the name of the episode, but it was two or something. Um, Fan fiction. Fan fiction. Uh, <laughs> I feel like those two episodes are so unique to Supernatural. I don't feel like there's any other show on the planet that could ever do that. You know, and that's maybe very important to more of you know, my, my hubris and shit. Um, but, uh... I'll get a bit. <laughs> this show sucks. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think those two. What about you? What's your... Yellow fever. How did you how did you even film that and not lose your shit every five minutes? <laughs> I did.
I, I, I'm sure I can think uh, about that in this a, a, a ton. I, I will give you um, something that comes to mind immediately. Uh, both best purchase and the worst purchase at the same time. <laughs> Years back, when they, they first came out with like the really like dope high end drones, <laughs> I, being the great friend that I am, bought two. <laughs> One for me, and one for him. We got them all charged up, took them out in the parking lot during filming while they were setting up a scene. Not my fault. And <laughs> I'll reenact Jared. It was in a weird position, dude. So the remote, I was doing a great job. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had, uh, uh, Roman candles. Uh, and so, you know, the guys know the Roman candles. 
<laughs> so the strap goes to the skids, two each. We lit up. We never told anybody this. 